Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, November 29th, around 9.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The big winter chicken dinner is the East Coast, which is going to be picking up all of the snow as we head into mid-December. Keep calm and happy Black Friday. It's boom time. Snow could dash holiday weekend travel for the Great Lakes while the South is under a freeze watch. We've got the full forecast in just a moment as Sunday night football could be buried under snow because the game is in New York's Orchard Park, a town forecast to pick up 12 to 18 inches. Holy macaroni. Here is the snow on the ground as of 6 a.m. this morning. The Northeast has a wide swath of 8 to 12 inches all the way across from New York State and the Catskills up into Maine. And more snow is falling, and now... The uh, lake effect snow regions are pumping and dumping. Winter storm watches and warnings are up for the northern tier as frost and freeze warnings all the way down into Florida. And here's the full forecast. An Arctic outbreak followed by heavy lake effect snow in the Great Lakes region. An Arctic outbreak of cold air will expand south and east from the northern plains through the Midwest and persist into next week. What a tweak. Dangerously cold wind chills are expected in the northern plains and upper Midwest, 30 degrees below normal in some areas. Heavy lake effect snow bands and snow showers have developed downwind of the Great Lakes today and will continue into next week, dumping feet of snow in many of the lake effect snow regions. Travel could be difficult to impossible so heed the warnings and click on your county for more information. A quick look at the GFS model shows heavy lake effect snow in those regions, including Buffalo and off of Lake Erie. Holy macaroni. And by mid-December, we could be seeing an amazing mid and southern Appalachian snow season while the West is devoid of activity. But regions like western Montana continue to get pummeled, which are areas that have been devoid of snow for quite some time. Seismic update. No quakes of note. Normal activity worldwide, which is good news for those in quake-prone regions. A quick look at worldwide volcano news for the 29th, Friday, November 2024. Ibu to 8,000 feet. We've got Con Leon puffing and passing to 9,000, Fuego to 15, Popo to 19,000 feet, Liwatobi to 9, Semaru, who knew, now you do, 15,000 foot puff there, Santa Guito on the list, Tal Volcano, hydrothermal activity continuing there from that steam puff you can see there, Ibu to 8,000 feet, Svartsangi Volcano on the Rakyanis Peninsula remains stable over the last 24 hours, Popo to 19, Sangay to 21,000 feet, Libatobi to 9, Fuego to 15, Semadu to 15, Santa Huito, 13,000 foot puff there, Ibu to 8, Popo to 20,000 foot, Svartsvengi remaining consistent with its volcanic activity. Sangay, 20,000 foot blast moments ago, Fuego to 14, Libatobi to 9, Semadu, 15,000 foot blast, wrapping up worldwide volcano news for the day. Space weather, quick look. We were waiting for a G1 geomagnetic storm to develop from a glancing blow from a coronal mass ejection. It appears to have arrived. We're approaching KP5. The aurora has lit up, but it's mostly because of the BZ shifting south. Telemetry is pretty weak. Plasma speed is barely 400 kilometers per second, and it's all due to the shift south of the BZ. The three-day geomagnetic forecast is all quiet. Very few sunspots on the disk as we are at solar max, a very embarrassing solar max indeed. It appears as if we're rapidly dropping off a cliff into inactivity. Astronomers reveal stunning new image of the unusual Sombrero Galaxy. It's very low resolution and it's not that impressive at all. But it is quite different than the original photo we've been using 
and calling the Sombrero Galaxy. This is the typical look of the Sombrero Galaxy. It looks like the hat in question. But if you remove the dust, what you get is this. And so astronomers have claimed that this dust is star forming dust with the accretionary gravity model. All this dust is making stars in the center of the galaxy. But when you look at the ultraviolet where the heat comes from, there are no stars being formed in the center of this galaxy. And the reason it's circular and looks like a sombrero is because it's very old and there's probably no stars forming whatsoever. The exact opposite of the accretionary model and what they predicted is actually true. Nothing is happening in the Sombrero galaxy. Oh yeah, it's electric. Antarctic researchers warn of possible catastrophic sea level rise within our lifetime in a group statement. The only problem is this group are all shills for the CO2 climate narrative. And they're not actual scientists, they're paid propagandists. The reality is that our Antarctic ice extent is only been studied since the 1980s. And it is well within the normal realm of all the data sets. Take a look here. We've got Antarctic ice extent within the normal realms and Antarctic ice area is higher than one, two, three years dating back all the way to 2015. Yeah, catastrophic loss of Antarctic ice indeed. Not real science coming now. A 13,000-year-old animal bone needle is unearthed at a mammoth hunting base in Wyoming, and it's fantastic. Take a look at this beauty. Well-centered there, the eye of the needle. Here is an eyed needle made from the bone of a red fox found at La Prele, a mammoth archaeological site in Wyoming's Converse County. The presence of chip stone artifacts in the bones of Colombian mammoth Mammuthus columbi indicate the La Priel site was likely a base used for mammoth hunting, making it one of the only mammoth butchery sites at this time in North America. The mammoth was killed or perhaps scavenged for food and what a meal the 22,000 pound beast must have been. But the important thing is there were bone needles because this was discovered right at about 12,800 years ago, which is the beginning of some of the coldest times for the next 1,300 years. So they would have been sewing mammoth hides together to make jackets or clothes or what have you. Absolutely fantastic. All the links will be below. And if you haven't heard, a social media ban in Australia for children under 16 is the first in the world, and I believe this should be worldwide, if not 18. Social media is killing the fabric of human society. Mental illness is rapidly increasing, and it's because of these electronic devices that we don't even know what reality is anymore and we've got to stop it quick. Join us tomorrow at Revolution Radio in Studio B right here, noon mountain time, just hit play. Lee and I are going to be talking about solar radiation peaks when the solar polar magnetic field zeroes, an anti-correlation which has been around for a decade and no one talks about the actual global warming on Earth. We'll also discuss an Egyptian petroglyph that they just discovered that is rewriting a new chapter in the history of astrology and horoscopes. The petroglyph appears to depict Capricorn. Yes, the head of a mammal here with two ears or horns positioned on its crown and the body of a fish. This all has to do with deep ancient knowledge in cosmology that has been going on for hundreds of thousands of years. Ancient civilizations were aware of the procession of the equinoxes and cosmic catastrophes, which led to astrology, the most ancient science on planet Earth. And speaking of ancient science, did you know that the Minoans 
developed the toilet, the flush system, and sewage after the technology was lost for over a thousand years until the Romans reinvented it. That is the history that is a mystery. What's not a mystery is growing your own food so you can survive and thrive in the future and you don't need to go to the doctor anymore. All the food and produce in the supermarket is covered with fungicides, pesticides, and the like and is killing you and making you dumber and, well, also sicker because there are no nutrients in those spray-painted foods. When you grow your own and pick it fresh and eat it just moments later, you get all the micronutrients you need for your immune system to be healthy. So buy the best heirloom vegetable seeds, open-pollinated on planet Earth at the lowest prices at the Alliance of Native Seed Keepers Birdie County Seed Store, just two bucks a pack. Currently, we've got 134 products in stock. You support our channel, you support your preparedness, and you make all your friends and family happy as they open the gift of fresh fruit, food and vegetables, and no pesticides. How do you like them apples? Go get the seeds. And that's a boom to knowledge. We love each and every one of you. We hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving day with your family or friends. And even if you were alone, if you just express gratitude to your life and your situation, you are certainly having a better day today. I know I am. Please hit the thumbs up. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And share this video because we are shadow banned. That's the only way this channel will grow. We love you. Be safe. And we'll see you tomorrow on Revolution Radio, noon Mountain Time. <laughs>